Hey or hey again, this is Andy from potatoesandpearls.com and in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite slow cooker recipes. It is chicken pansanda in the slow cooker. Um, I've been using the Instant Pot a lot lately but I feel like with this particular recipe the slow cooker is perfect and I'm going to show you how I make this chicken dish right after this. I have already washed my chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it into this plastic bag with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's about two boneless chicken breasts, but you can always put in more chicken, but it's just me, so I don't need pounds and pounds and pounds of chicken. Uh, just a little background on this. I did get this recipe for, well, I got the idea for this recipe from an Indian dish that I order a lot when I get Indian takeout. Um, a lot of times it's made with tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes, so my version has no tomatoes in it. So after I put the chicken in the refrigerator, I cut up one pepper, uh, green pepper preferably, a half of a large white onion, and I cut up about two to three cloves of garlic. I just chopped it up. Once you get that chopped up, you get your slow cooker. Um, I have it on the high heat setting and that's about two tablespoons of butter. And so I go ahead and just break up my chicken it's been sitting in the refrigerator so I just kind of separate that out and I mean the slow cooker even though the high heat is on you know it's it's not that hot right away so after I get my chicken spread out I add in a cup of almonds those are almond slivers you can always chop them up smaller if you'd like but I mean that size doesn't bother me and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my peppers, onion, and garlic mixture. I make sure that all of that is out of the bowl and into the slow cooker. And I go ahead and stir that around to make sure it's even. I add in a can of coconut milk. Uh, this is a creamy dish, so instead of using heavy cream, a lot of Indian dishes have coconut milk. It comes out really, really delicious. And I'm not even a fan of coconut, so that's saying something. Um, I go ahead and mix that together as well. I just like to make sure everything is evenly dispersed. I'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup of Greek plain yogurt. If you're not familiar with cooking with yogurt, you want to make sure that it's plain yogurt. Don't get vanilla or some other kooky flavor. You want plain yogurt. Plain yogurt works kind of like sour cream. So I add in a cinnamon stick and I also add in about a tablespoon of marsala spice. Marsala spice, uh, mine came from Whole Foods. It's not something that I've seen at every grocery store, but you can find it. It's not difficult to locate. And I'm also going to add in about a tablespoon of turmeric. And I just dump that in there. And once again, I'm just going to stir everything together just to make sure everything's evenly distributed. I know with a slow cooker, it's, you know, the... The flavors are supposed to absorb. It works like an instant pot, only slower. Uh, but I still like to make sure the seasonings are all spread out because I have made things in the slow cooker before and all of the seasoning has been bunched up into one area. So I just get that all stirred up and I am going to pop my lid on and I am going to leave it on high and let it run for about two to three hours depending on your particular slow cooker. I know some get hotter than others. So I did mine for about two hours so that time has passed and as you can see the sauce has turned a lovely yellow color mostly from the turmeric. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out my cinnamon stick once I get that cinnamon stick out the way, I go ahead and stir up my pot. I 
love Indian food. I order it a lot for takeout. And so that's why I kind of created this recipe just because I can't be putting all of my money towards takeout. <laughs> And that's it. Uh, we are all done. I made rice in the Instant Pot, which is my favorite way to make rice. If you have an Instant Pot and you're not making rice in it, what are you doing? And I have put my chicken on top and make sure I get oh, some of that extra sauce, which is probably seeped down into the rice. It's so good. Let me know if you'd like to see more slow cooker videos on top of the Instant Pot videos and the other food videos that I do. If you like this video though, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like food, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I talk about food on this channel. I talk about home stuff. I'm about to post a video about my Ikea kitchen, so stay tuned. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.